Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because today I am going to be doing my Hobonichi haul unboxing video and it arrived earlier this morning and I have been staring at my box all day and it is time. So um, I don't have a lot planned other than just to open these things up and take a look at these items for the first time. So if you're open to watching another Hobonichi haul video, then I invite you to stick around and get cozy. I have already prepared myself a tea, and this is a ginger peach tea, because I'm sure I'll be talking a lot over the next while. But anyway, let's get into it and take a look at what I purchased from the Hobonichi store. Hopefully by now you've already seen the box for this year. I had already seen previews of it online, so I knew that this was going to be the color. Seeing it in person is so nice. I've got these um, Pantone postcards and I'm going to try to pick the Pantone colors that most closely match some of the items. I think it helps to have something standard to compare to. So I'm going to try to pick postcards that match and I don't know if this will work out, but we will see. To warm up, I'm going to try to pick a color that I think most closely matches the box. And already this is a struggle, so maybe my idea is not a good idea. I'm gonna say closest color that I could come up with that I think matches this box, it's not exact, is uh, 277. Now I'm gonna try to open this without ripping the sticker, but I think I did rip the sticker last year. I'll pause on the quote and I'm gonna read it myself. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take everything out of the box and then we will go over each of the items. I'll first start off with the books that I purchased. So I decided to go with the English edition of both the original, so the A6 size, which is uh, what I'm currently using this year. And it's so interesting to see a new unopened book. Um, so that's gonna be my system for next year. And then I also picked up the Cousin, also in the English edition. My plan for now is to use the Cousin as a work and personal study that's relevant to 2025. So I'll be taking some courses and just generally doing study that might be related to YouTube or whatever. And then my plan is to use the original plus the weekly supplement as my main planning system, which is what I'm currently doing this year. And I like it so much that I'm going to continue it on into next year. So I'm gonna put these aside. I'm probably gonna open these closer to the start of next year. So next up, we are gonna look at the first weeks that I picked for next year. It's so exciting to see this in person. First impressions, this is even more beautiful in person than I was expecting. So I am kind of in awe right now. Let me just take it out of the packaging. Okay. This is the Yumi Kitagishi Beautiful Wallpaper. It is so beautiful. I love wallpaper and I love this artist's illustration style. I love this really soft lilac. And I think I'm gonna try to see if I can find the color that matches this, if one exists. Well, it was harder than I thought to find a color that matched this background, but what I thought I could do is answer a question that I had, which was, is this closer to a gray or a purple lilac? So I picked a couple of gray colors. So this is a cool gray, this is a warm gray, and this is moon rock. And you can see that it is not really gray. I also picked this kind of blue teal color. 
So you can see that it's it's quite different. And I've also got these two lighter purples and I thought maybe it might look similar to this color, but it is quite different. So I'm just gonna double check one more time if there's any other color that I think. So that's this one. And I'll just do another close up. The dog with the cake, the flowers. Oh, this is so pretty. The gold foiling. I love this. The other weeks that I purchased, I think it's really cute they already wrapped the cover on cover. So I did pick up this dog, floating dog heads cover on. Really loved this artist's style. And I also chose the pistachio weeks and my thought was that I could use this covering on this weeks so I'm just going to open this up I love these weeks covers they feel so good in your hand these are very similar in texture and this is my favorite kind of weeks where they're not glossy I don't love the glossy cover and I just love these two together. So let me see if I can find a color that matches this one. Okay, so I think the closest two I would say is um, Pantone 3985. So this is a little bit darker than this one and then this one is a little bit lighter. Yeah, I would say it's kind of similar to these two colors. This is such a pretty cover and I did go for the Mega because I was very interested in having this extra space and I was going to use the Mega for my health and wellness and I was going to start tracking and writing about more experiences and then the thinner one was going to be for meal planning so that's kind of where I'm thinking but also I love this cover so much that I might swap the uses. I haven't quite decided yet. So let me... Look how cute these are. So they're little floating dog heads. Okay, let me just put this on and see how that looks. And every week's does come with a stick on side pocket. In case you didn't know, they all come with them. Okay. So it is a little bit tight, as you can see. It doesn't close naturally. I'm pretty sure this is going to stretch as I use it, so I'm not too worried, but in case you're curious, it does look a little bit tight, as opposed to the standard size. Oh, and it comes with this cute little card. So you can see it fits a lot better in the standard size. So it is a bit tight, but I'm pretty confident this will fit because I did check the website and they did say that it would fit. So it would just need to break in a little bit. Those are my two weeks. This is what it'll look like. Okay, so I'm gonna put those aside. In terms of my books, that's mainly what I'm going to be using next year. So we'll have one week's for meal planning and one for health and wellness. And then I think I'm going to be using the extra pages for some kind of experience logging or memory keeping. And then my main planning system is going to be the A6, the original A6 size and the weekly supplement. And then we have the um, we have the cousin for personal study. Just gonna put these aside. Okay, next up, we're going to go into the accessories. So the first thing that I bought is this flat pen case, and I'm not going to take it out of the packaging because I did buy this as a gift for a friend. Unfortunately, this arrived a little too late for me to give to her for her birthday, so I am going to hang on to this and give it to her at the end of the year as a holiday gift. It's got a strap on the back and it looks like it is elastic and this can be wrapped around a book. So my friend really loves florals 
and she travels often so I'm thinking that this plus a really cute notebook would be great for her. So I'm not going to open it, I'm going to set it aside, but I did buy this pen case. And in terms of uh, notebooks, I also picked up a few notebooks and you can see here, unfortunately, it's a little bit ruined on the corner here. I guess it got a little bit damaged in transit. I also might as well show you the notebooks I got now. I also picked up the A6 sizes of these notebooks. So I think these are going to be really great gifts to give away. So for my friend, I'm going to give her this notebook and this pencil pouch. And then I might keep these ones for myself. I always have a use for notebooks. I really love the little cats peeking out through the door. So but I'm going to keep them in wrapping for now in case I do decide to gift them. And same with this one. So I did get a few extra notebooks, but my plan is to give most of them away as gifts. Next up, we have a few different pencil boards. So let me go through these ones first. I love Yumi Kitagishi's illustration so much that when I saw these pencil boards, I just decided to go for them. Let me just take them out. I didn't think that I really wanted to invest in another cover, even though I thought her covers were very cute. But I didn't mind investing in the pencil boards because I love this kind of maximal illustration style and um, I always find a use for pencil boards. I think I'm going to pair the weeks with the weeks, with her corresponding weeks, of course. And the back is this lime green, and it's kind of the same image but smaller, which I think is really, really nice. And it's very similar to this apple green. It's a little more yellow, but in case you're curious, it's, it's pretty similar to this color. On the back of the A6 size, it is this really lovely blue. Let me see if I can find... Not quite, but it's kind of close to these two colors, Caribbean Sea and Swedish Blue. Nothing is quite exactly like it, but there's this really nice warm blue, and I do like that it is the cutout of the front. So it's this apartment scene. It's really cute. There's a dog, there's an octopus. It's just so whimsical. And then the final one, I'm going to use this in my five year, A5. So this is a little tea party scene. Look at this dog and this little bear. It's so cute. I love it. I think Hobonichi had some of the best pencil boards this year and it was really hard to narrow down what I wanted to get for this year because I didn't want to get them all but I really loved the Paddington Bear pencil boards and I also really loved the Insoto ones. I did end up getting one additional pencil board. I think this one was a little bit of a reaction to the fact that I couldn't get the books that had the prints or the papers that had the prints and so what I was thinking about with this one because I really love this cover is if I ever want to change with my Mega, kind of hard to demonstrate with the dogs. And I really hope that this actually works. If you can imagine the dogs are not here, I could use the pencil board as another cover if I ever wanted to change from the color. So this is my, this is one of my Hobonichi weeks from this year. I think it's going to be easier to show this. It is a little smaller than the cover, to be honest, but I still think that it's it's a nice way to change up the cover in case you're looking for a change. So I think I'm going to pair this pencil board with this Pistachio Weeks, and I think that goes so nicely together. I think I'm going to pair this pencil board with this Weeks. 
And then this one going to be using with my five year A5 size, or I might pair it with my cousin. Just looking at illustrations like this is really inspiring to me. I just love how full it is, how cheerful it is, how whimsical it is. And I didn't invest too much into Yumi Kitagishi last year because I ended up choosing the panda covers instead of the little gifts. But I like this better than last year's. I'm really liking this apartment scene and this messy apartment, which is not unlike my own. Okay, so those are the weeks and the pencil boards. Okay, so next up we have these stencils. And I thought these would be interesting for my health and wellness. I have the green one from this year and the one that I use the most often is the star rating. These ones are a little more functional as well. This is why I'm kind of excited to include them. This one has different icons like walk, run, airplane, trains. So I think this one's just a lot more functional. There's like a shopping one. So I think I'm gonna start using this a lot more, especially in my weekly supplement. Okay, so these are probably going to be a little hard to see, so let me just grab my book. So this is the one that I'm already using. You can tell the star rating is the one that I use the most. This one I really like because it has some additional icons, like there's a run, there's sunny, cloudy, rainy, snow, so I might even start using these. And <laughs> There's even little emojis here, so smile, angry, sad, wow. And there's also a few um, transportation ones, so like airplane, train, car, bicycle. So this is one of the ones that I meant to get last year, and I can't remember what happened, but I just forgot, and I didn't want to make an order just for stencils so I kind of waited until this year. This one I'm really excited about. This one is a travel one so it has little speech bubbles and just a few little icons like a suitcase, camera, trees, mountains, ocean, and then numbers so I'm, I'm really excited to use this when we travel. I think there's a little bit of overlap with the blue one, but I did want them both because this one also has birthday, which is an icon that I use a lot. There's gift, there's a heart in both of them. This one's gonna be really useful in my meal planning weeks. And so I think that's where I'm gonna be using this one. So I'm, I'm really excited to use these. Oh, and this one also has numbers. I don't wanna make this video too long, but I am curious about some of these. So I think I'm gonna try a few of them out just to see what we think. And I'm gonna use, use an old page. So, okay, these are really cute, but I think these are gonna be really helpful. So I'm excited to have these stencils. Got a few of these small little grid notebooks that is always helpful to have. They fit really nicely in these covers and if I ever wanna make lists uh, and I need more space, I think this is something that will be really useful. So I picked up a pack of those. They come in three different colors. So there's a blue, there's a gray, and there's a yellow. And then I picked up one Deco Rush. This is the Yumi Kitagishi Hearts Deco Rush. I love these little hearts and illustrations, so I'm excited to try that out. In fact, I think I'm going to try that out right now. Something that I added to the cart this year is this Deco Rush eraser because there have been times where the Deco Rush doesn't get onto the page properly and they're actually really hard to erase. So I think I'm gonna test it out now and see if it does work. Okay, so this, I might have made an assumption. I'm not actually sure if this erases the Deco Rush. 
So maybe I need to do a little more research. I think I just assumed that this was intended to remove the deco rush. If you know, let me know. Otherwise I'll do some research and maybe I was wrong. The last thing that I added to my cart is something that I kind of wanted last year and it sold out so quickly. And I haven't made another Hobonichi purchase until now. <laughs> it's this mini banana hammer. So I'm gonna have to try this out. It's kind of a gift for my partner because he has an obsession with bananas. And I think this is so quirky and so funny. It could also be a paperweight. And the fact that it also doubles as a hammer, I just think is so funny. Somebody mentioned they wanted me to test this. So I'm gonna insert a clip of me attempting to use this as a hammer. I mean, I don't think we're really gonna use it as a hammer. I think it's gonna be more of a paperweight, something that lives on the desk. I love brass items, so I just think this is so fun. And uh, I had a whole year to contemplate this and think about whether I really wanted to buy this, and I decided that I do. So I'm really happy that I have it. It's, it's quite small, but I think it's really cute and I'm looking forward to hearing his reaction to it to see what he thinks of it. If you order directly from Hobonichi's online store, you do get some freebies. So I did get a few of these yellow and orange pens. Um, this is last year's color. This is the teal and brown. And this year they did this yellow and orange color. Let me see if I can find a similar color. It's kind of similar to this color here, Pantone 142. And the bottom part is kind of similar to this, but a little bit darker. And maybe Fiesta, this one as well. So pretty similar to these colors. So that's the pen for this year. Wow, it feels so new compared to this one. There's a black, a blue, and a red. So that is the 2025 pen. And last but not least, for the bigger books, so if you buy a certain book, including the original and the cousin, you do get free notebooks, and there's four different styles of notebooks. <gasps> oh, yes, this is one of the ones I really like, so I'm very happy with this one. And I guess I got two of the same ones. So it's a little bit of a larger grid compared to the Hobonichi. So these are the freebies, which I think is another reason why it can be really exciting to order directly from the Hobonichi website. That was my very chaotic unboxing. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the items that I purchased. I'm pretty happy with my color scheme. We've got this pistachio green, beautiful wallpaper in this lilac color. Let me grab my, I know they're not exact matches, but this will be my cover for next year for my cousin. I'm really hoping that this continues to patina because it is collecting a lot of ink stains on it and I'm trying to just be okay with that and to know that as this continues to darken, these stains are going to be a lot less noticeable. Looking at these two weeks together, I'm so excited for this color palette that I have going on. Hopefully you found these Pantone cards helpful even though I wasn't able to find exact matches for these covers. Seeing these laid out together, I'm curious to hear from you. Are you going to be using a Hobonichi for next year? And if so, what did you end up choosing? If you've also filmed an unboxing, uh, please link it in the comments below. I'd love to check it out. And if you have any questions about anything that you saw today, let me know. Closer to the end of this year, I will do a follow-up 
video where I talk about my system and start doing the setups and let you know how I'm planning on using each of these books. But for now, I'm gonna wrap these all back up and I'm gonna put them in a box and leave them for a little while so that I can continue enjoying the books that I have now. Uh, I know it's early to be talking about 2025, but this is a safe space for all planner people over here and these books mean so much to us and I've learned that having really adorable covers makes some of the mundane tasks more interesting and you know honestly I have loved the Hobonichi covers that I have used for this year. It is the most consistent I've ever been in planning in a really long time and I'm hopeful that I can continue that streak into next year. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the haul and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye!